Hello everyone, welcome to a new video I found where someone apparently claims that uh, quantum mechanics is wrong and everyone can exactly see why, which, you know, that's an interesting position to hold. Uh, and it's even more interesting that, it up, that you uploaded this on, on YouTube with a device that is based on our understanding of quantum mechanics in solid state uh, silicon chips. So, you know, <laughs> interesting position to hold. Um, it's from the channel called It's BS. Now, I am, I do not know if they are a flat earther. I have not seen any flat earth content on their channel. Um, but it was referred to me more or less indirectly by a flat earther on a Discord server. So, uh, it, it's at least a chase. I mean, it's still wrong and it's still fun to talk about it. So, uh, hi. Uh, it's BS, should you see that, I will of course link this video and your channel in the description, or at least, uh, you know, uh, add you there. Mm. I'm Olaf, I'm currently doing my master's degree in physics and in astronomy, and uh, whilst I'm not exactly good at quantum mechanics, I, I did complete multiple uh, courses that whose contents were aimed either in large parts or entirely at quantum mechanics, um, and I am in the physics department specializing in nuclear physics right now, which you could argue is at least adjacent to quantum mechanics. So uh, let's have a little look. We are already in way too long and I haven't started yet. So let's have a look. I am set to 125, so let's go. This video will explain how quantum mechanics is wrong. I, I, I love how you would do it in 23 minutes when I have spent a solid at least three lectures talking on like le only learning about quantum mechanics that would have been handy to have before that anyone can understand what quantum mechanics is about so here that is very correct uh, in my words quantum mechanics would be the study of the smallest and littlest things in nature such things as atoms or even parts of atoms and the parts that make up those parts of the atoms and how they interact with each other and with the more macroscopic world which is a bit of a, a bit of a bummer because it is it is sometimes very uh, unintuitive uh, the the definition of quantum mechanics that we have learned in university is a bit different but but uh, even though i i it's not my favorite uh, definition, I still like it a lot, it is the study of how our measurements influence the smallest possible things that make up the building blocks of nature. Um, and that's how you kind of, you must measure things when you want to figure out uh, uh, any useful information about these small things. Here is a simplified explanation. First of all, it is a part of physics that describes how an atom works. <sighs> I mean, I mean, not 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 solely, right? The quantum physics is bigger than just the study of the atom, and there are things in atomic physics that are not necessarily quantum physics. So I, I mean, it's not wrong, and historically, it's it's very motivated from this side, but I don't agree. There are only two particles that you need to know about. One is the photon which is a particle of light. The other is an electron, which can be considered a particle that moves electricity. I mean, uh, <laughs> all, all right, I mean, I mean, okay, first of all, a photon, yes, is the particle that is responsible for uh, uh, the thing that we call light. Um, I, I wouldn't call it light particle, I would just call it that light is made up of photons but i mean that's fair enough and uh, the electron thing i'm not okay with the electron is not an electricity particle that that i mean i mean it is in the sense that it carries charge and charges that are moved over time create a current and so on and so forth but other uh, particles uh, can as well hold a charge like a proton you can absolutely can uh, create electricity by moving protons around. It's just a whole lot more difficult because protons are huge compared to electrons. But, but you know, um, also it's not the first subatomic smaller than atom particle. I mean, it depends on how you see it historically. I mean, I guess you could call it that, but the photon is also subatomic and smaller than an atom. So I don't really know what you're on about, but okay. And finally, we have the electromagnetic field. 
Now you can see that I have classical and Einstein called out specifically in this description. The classical means that I'm not talking about a quantum electromagnetic field. Classical fields are represented by smooth, continuous flows of force. And I wouldn't call a field a smooth, continuous force per se, but the fields in classical electrodynamics are smooth and continuous. That is correct. Yes. Quantum fields are represented by pixelated, discontinuous eh. flows of force. Not, not, that's also difficult to answer. <laughs> Force in principle can be quantized, but that doesn't make a quantum field a quantized field. A quantum field usually is still characterized by a smooth and continuous field, but its, its action on other parts isn't continuous, which makes it a bit very complicated <laughs> um, but but you know um not important for these purposes also i like uh how they state here that static electricity apparently only applies to plastics static electricity also applies to metal so you know <laughs> but and i mentioned einstein I here because his special theory of relativity removes the medium that electromagnetic waves propagate through uh Einstein's special theory of relativity did not remove it. The Michelson-Gale experiment removed it, and Einstein, uh, with the knowledge of the Michelson-Morley experiment and the following experiments, like the Michelson-Gale and so on and so forth, um, kind of uh, uh, explained an, an alternative system to what uh, to what was before of how this can be made sense of. This becomes very important to this discussion, so give me a second to elaborate here. It's it's going to be a light can't travel through something that has no medium, right? That's 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 where we're going to land. That is my prediction. Air is a medium that allows waves of sound and enable us to communicate. That is correct. If you remove the medium, you have nothing to wave. Like if you also correct, you removed all the air from your room right now. I would suffocate. Please don't. You would not be able to hear me because yeah, yes, that is also true. <laughs> the sound waves couldn't propagate through the air medium. Yes. So, Einstein removed the medium that electromagnetic wave. Uh, no, 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 no. Einstein didn't remove anything. What happened is the 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 physics before. The michelson moller experiment would, would rely on something called the ether. Mind you, the ether had severe problems before the michelson moller experiment, but it was kind of the final, the final nail in the coffin, if you say. Um, the, the issue was that people couldn't imagine something moving, that is a wave, not traveling through a medium, right? And so, but it, but to, Today, we obviously know that it does, right? The problem is that that Einstein didn't do anything with that. They, they, they got, got the results from the michelson mole experiment and they thought what this could mean. And they just came to the conclusion that ether clearly isn't a thing. Light, if it travels through a medium, which it doesn't, clearly doesn't travel through it the way they thought that they did. And through more uh, considerate uh, calculations and um, um, kind of thinking about it, they came to the conclusion that no, light does not travel through a medium, which sounds strange, but is for practical purposes what we are at today, you know? Physics has no uh, obligation to make sense to you. It doesn't make sense to me, so. <laughs> Waves propagate through, and he replaced it with the speed of the photon particle. I want to hear the sentence again. Oh. Einstein removed the medium that electromagnetic waves propagate through, and he replaced it with the speed of the photon particle. This sentence is nonsensical. Um, you can't take re replace a medium with a speed. What are, what are you saying? That's, that, that, that's not a, a sentence that makes physical sense. Uh, Einstein didn't do that. 
the 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 question through what photons travel wasn't even a question at this point anymore. No, no like they 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 were just trying to come up with an explanation that explains the effects that you could still see after the 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 the, the Michelson Morley experiment that are now without a proper explanation without a proper mechanism behind it. And Einstein was the first one to come up with this mechanism, although um, people like Lorentz uh, were very empirical about it beforehand. They, they, they just, like the Lorentz factor that can be seen in a lot of special relativity applications, that was already there before that, because you know even though the physicists didn't really understand what was happening, they still knew how to describe it, because that's kind of what physicists do. So, so you know, but yeah. And then he made everything else warp and bend around the speed of this photon particle. Nothing, nothing warps and bends around a speed. It, it, length contraction is complicated, <laughs> but you certainly can't say it bends and warps around the speed because that's just, that's just physical nonsense. So now we think about these electromagnetic fields as fields of mathematics. If you ask what is waving when we talk about waves now, it's waves of math. Now I know that sounds weird. I mean, no, it's electromagnetic waves, you know. Uh, a photon is electromagnetic wave, that means that it has a an electric wave and a, a magnetic wave, so an electric field and a magnetic field oscillating usually 90 degrees towards each other. There are really nice animations that you can look at Wikipedia has a, a very, really, really nice animation about it. Um, so, so yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what, what your problem is. But this is the result of Einstein's... Actually, if you, if you let me... Uh... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to open that. Yes, Wikipedia, I'm sorry. So, you know, I, I, I can't type and you all know that by now, so uh, that's fair. So... I'm sure there's a, there's an animation about the E field and the B. Yeah, there it is. I mean, it's not okay, not an animation, but but this that is what it looks. There's the magnetic field in red, the electric field in blue, and this is what what light looks like on the more uh, uh, fundamental uh, level, if you will. Yes, this is what I had in mind. Exactly, that is what I wanted. That is what light really does, all the time. And there's the wavelength and really nice animation. Love it. Thought experiments, which most people don't seem to have a problem accepting. And finally, the forces that we are talking about are just basic attraction and repulsion. So really, it is this simple. What other forces do you want to have? <laughs> do you know of any other force than uh, repulsion and attraction, even though those are already the same thing? You do not need a complex and deep understanding of quantum mechanics in order to figure out why it's wrong. Because if you had a deep and complex understanding of quantum mechanics, you wouldn't think it was wrong. I predict that you have very little clue about quantum mechanics. Uh, and and the, t the fact that we have spent like... 13 minutes on uh, this three minute clip uh, uh, already uh, is a bad sign about it. And speaking of why, why should you spend your time to try to understand this? Now, if you're already skeptical of quantum mechanics and modern physics, you probably don't need this slide. I'm not. <laughs> I would be a very bad physicist if I was. If you watch popular videos on quantum mechanics, you might hear how it's weird and counterintuitive to understand. Yes. So then why would the best description of how nature works be weird and counterintuitive? The thing about quantum mechanics is, like, oh, oh no, like the field about all of, actually all of natural science is that nature isn't obligated to make sense to us. I said that earlier. Um, you don't intuitively understand the chemical reactions. You don't intuitively understand most things about physics. Sure, if you if you thought about it for long enough, you, you may be able to uh, uh, come up with um, the results of something from classical mechanics from a, from a purely uh, uh, intuitive point, right? That, that, that may be possible if you train for that a bit. That, that, that's a thing that can happen. 
But for things like like uh, nuclear physics or where I write my master's thesis right right now in radio astronomy, that, none of that is intuitive. And why why should it be? I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, quantum mechanics or the the advanced the more advanced theory of quantum mechanics that we have now that includes the effects of uh, relativity and, and, and goes into uh, uh, all of these kind of uh, fields, the enveloping, sometimes called uh, quantum field theory, sometimes called, um, or like the, the more primitive form of which is uh, quantum chromodynamics, which is still marvelously difficult. Um, yeah, th th those are kind of the best descriptions of nature that we have. Quantum mechanics is has been previously called the best scientific theory that we have, and that's, I think, within physics, that's a thing. Yeah, it's definitely the best physics theory that we have. It, it, it surpassed the general theory of relativity a while ago, but uh, that that's the second one, I think. <laughs> this is what I want to help you figure out. You might also hear that it's okay that you don't understand it, because even the best physicists like Richard Feynman didn't understand it. That is correct, because it is not to be understood. Uh, uh, understanding a field of physics is meaningless. It's 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 whether or not you can handle it in such a way that you can make meaningful predictions and and test for these predictions. Um, is, is is what some people would say. Uh, the that's the more theoretical side. The the experimentative side, like would say that uh, you you understand in air quotes a a, a field if you are. Uh, proficient in measuring techniques in that field for for all the, the the common sizes or the common quantities that are analyzed in 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 experiments of those right this type of quote here is generally associated with something that richard feynman said so let's watch the original clip there was a time uh, when the newspaper said that only 12 men understood the theory of relativity i don't believe there ever was such a time. There might have been a time when only one man did, because he's the only guy who caught on when he, before he wrote his paper. But after people read the paper, a lot of people kind of understood the theory of relativity in some way or other. But more than 12. On the other hand, I think I can safely say that uh, nobody understands quantum mechanics. So you can see that... I mean, it's, 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 it's not wrong. <laughs> this quote in context is that it's part of a joke. But there still is some truth behind this joke. So the reason why quantum mechanics is weird and counterintuitive is because it is wrong. Oh, dear me. So everything that is weird and counterintuitive is wrong, then. Um, so <laughs> um, can you tell me something about, I don't know, anesthesiology that is weird and counterintuitive to you? Because obviously then it must mean that it's wrong. Or, or when you pour two liquids together in chemistry that have that are red and the resulting liquid turns blue, that is also counterintuitive and th thus must be wrong, right? V very, 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 very poor reasoning there. It's it's essentially personal incredulity in the sense of, I don't think that that's a thing, so it's not a thing. Yeah, I, I think I, 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 I've had enough from this video for now. <laughs> um, so with that, I thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, maybe consider leaving a like if you enjoyed it a lot maybe consider considering subscribing and with that i will see you in the next one this will stretch for a couple more videos than i thought and uh, have a good time until then goodbye